It's another beautiful, quiet, and peaceful day in my life. Today, I'll be sharing about broken and growing, broken with grace and growing in Christ. I do not know much about planting, caring for a garden, or harvesting. However, one thing I do know is the ground needs to be prepared before the planting and harvesting can take place. I am planning to break up a small patch of our backyard this year to plant some pepper. The phrase, to be broken with grace, kept entering my mind as I was thinking about how the ground in our backyard had to be broken up to be prepared in order for the seeds to take root and become what they were intended to be. Very much like that hard ground had to be broken up to be better prepared, and before any process of harvest can abound, the same applies to our spiritual ground. There are various reasons the cultivating or the breaking up of our spiritual ground is needed. Sometimes it can be because we have allowed a certain sin to stick around, to take root. Roots are stubborn and need to be removed before the ground is ready for planting. Our spiritual ground can become hard through a heart full of bitterness or jealousy. There can be many more reasons. Maybe you were able to go through the checklist of things you are not doing wrong, like you have forgiven anyone that needs it. You feel that you have no root of bitterness. Or you haven't fallen prey to any sin stronghold to take root in your life. However, what about when we simply have grown comfortable in our comfort zones? How about when we are no longer growing in Christ? We may not be taking steps in a negative direction, but we find ourselves not going forward either. We are staying put because we are content with how life is and we just want it to stay simple. A life of surrender is not about staying in our comfort zones with no movement. God is always calling us to service. We are called to a life of surrendered steps. A life of surrender is about giving up our rights for what God wants. A life of surrender will move us in the direction of being more like Jesus. Jesus did not live a life of comfort. He was always doing something to please his heavenly Father. Jesus lived a life of surrender unto death. We are called to surrender by dying daily to our flesh. Jesus washed the disciples' feet, showing a life of humility, love, and serving others. We are called to also be living a life of humility and be willing to be made low so that someone else can be lifted up. That means we are called to be encouragers. We are called to love. We are called for a purpose and sometimes to get us to that purpose. God simply needs to gently break up the ground of our hearts. He needs to cultivate the spirit of brokenness so that we can experience His grace that abounds. To experience God's grace, sometimes we need to be broken. There was a time when I needed the breaking up of my spiritual ground. My heart had grown hard through choices that I had made. God allowed the breaking of my heart because my heart needed to feel helpless 
so that I could see that he was what I had needed all along. I was broken and wounded. I knew that it was through his mercy and grace that I would come to the healing that I had been searching for. You see, I was broken with grace. Are you there now? Circumstances in life breaking your heart in two, leaving you feel like your life is a pile of broken things. You feel it makes no sense at all. Run to Jesus. It is in Him that you will find peace. It is in Him that you will find healing. Being broken with grace may start out very painful, but the thing I want to leave you with is encouragement. In the breaking up of my ground came an abundance of so many good things. I was restored to a new place. A closer place with the Lord. He is always wanting us to draw closer to Him. Many times it is through our wounds and our scars that we will be transformed. Isaiah 61 verse 3 reveals how He gives beauty for ashes, joy for sadness, and exchanges our heavy heart for praise. Our King Jesus allows the breaking up of life at times because He knows our ground needs to be cultivated, broken up to be prepared for our calling and our purpose to God's plan. There may be suffering involved with this process, but God in all His goodness will not leave you there. If you feel the breaking of your ground, the breaking of your heart, hold tightly to hope and lean more into Him. In allowing Him to strengthen and heal your heart, you will come to see your spiritual ground being prepared. For what is planted during this time will come forth and bloom for the world to see the glory of what God does when we are broken with grace. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to His eternal glory in Christ, will Himself restore confirm, strengthen, and establish you.